Hello and good evening. Uh, thank you for being with us once again. It's already been one week. We're right back at uh, hour four as we experience the power of prayer. Thank you for yes. joining us. And again, I have to repeat, share the program. Share the program. Please let others know of the great work that God is doing right here at ATN. Mm -hmm. We want to ask you to pray for us as we go through this uh, next discussion that we're going to be having today. It's entitled The Impending Conflict. The Impending Conflict, talking about the great controversy between yes. good and evil. And so we want to ask you to send in your prayer requests, your praise report. The number is 613-9351. 613-9351. And remember, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, and channel 98 on Central Cable Vision. So you can share from Facebook, from YouTube. And you can also call your friends and your families, your contacts. You know, tell them to come across, come to your house, and you can also watch it together. Pull know. some popcorn and some popcorn and some <laughs> juice, yes. <laughs> and enjoy, all right? And you know, the, the, our intention is that you get informed. Knowledge yes. is power, so that you may be able to make your own personal choice regarding your salvation. Amen? Yes. Let us pray. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to be with us at this moment. And we pray that you may be with me, myself, and Ella Shane as we share this discussion with the viewers. We pray that you may guide us, Father, and we may be able to say exactly what you want us to say and what they need to hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Again, a, uh, a wonderful evening to everyone. And our topic is the impending, impending conflict. conflict. Impending conflict. Conflict is coming. Conflict. Know that um, when we hear the word conflict, it, it, it always comes from the word of strife and, and a battle and a struggle, you know. And not, 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 there are a lot of people who are not in position to deal with conflict faster. Mm -hmm. um, like I am, I, am not the, I am one of the individuals who I dissolve conflict real fast. Um, if I notice a conflict is coming my way, I find ways and means of how to, to avoid conflict. I don't like conflict, you know. And so we see that the Bible talks and the reading also mention of, of a conflict that took place years ago, thousand, a couple of year, thousand years ago in heaven where Lucifer or Satan was trying his best to overthrow the government of God and he failed. And we know what was the end result of that, that he was kicked out of heaven. There was no space in fact his as <laughs> they would say, uh, you know, for, for, for parents, when you get older, they would say, it's time for you to go. And when you leave, the, when you leave home, and by the time you know it and you try to go back home, your bedroom is occupied. <laughs> Somebody has to come back. Somebody takes over. And so <laughs> we see here that when Luther was kicked out of heaven because of his disobedience and, 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 and disobeying God, that there was no more a place for him in heaven. But yet, he was kicked out and he came to this earth hmm. to make havoc and to create strife with, 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 with the people of God. And we know that that's not easy um, to deal with someone who has so much experience and somebody who is well knowledgeable, you know, and yeah. I have all the tact and, and all the, 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 the know-how to, to get and bring us down. So that's what we want you to, to understand tonight, this evening, that there is a great controversy yes. going on. And it is about us. Yes. We are right smack in the middle of this controversy. The devil fighting, doing all that he can, mm -hmm. using all his resources, all his evil angels are behind him to lead as many of us mm -hmm. to, to lose our salvation. And God, on the other hand, is trying his utmost best. God, on the other hand, can, can force us yes. to get on his side. But God does not do that. He respects us. The devil will just kick open your door and get into your life. But God respects you. So God is doing everything that he can respectfully so that you may make that choice to spend eternity with him mm -hmm. and enjoy eternal life. To restore you back from where we have fallen. Yes. I want to read to you uh, just a, a few uh, just as we begin, mm -hmm. a few statesmen here from chapter 6, from the book Darkness Before Dawn. The topic is the impending conflict. This is what it says. As the battle between good and evil reaches its climax, every person on earth will have to make a public or a choice 
for or against God? Mm -hmm. What are the issues and how may we stand firm for what is right? Mm -hmm. That's the question. What are the issues and how may we stand firm for what is right? From the very beginning of the great controversy in heaven, it has been Satan's purpose to overthrow the law of God. Now, you might be asking, why is this the main focus of the enemy? Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Bible tells us what sin is. Yes. What will keep us from entering heaven? What will keep us from enjoying eternal life? What will keep us from abiding in Christ or with Christ for all eternity? Sin. Mm -hmm. Sin was the cause of all the, the this conflict that is happening, right, Elashin? Yes. And it happened in heaven, and it was transferred here, transferred now, because the enemy came, and now he, he, he led Eve and Adam, or Adam and Eve, to also um, transgress the law of God, mm -hmm. sin. And sin, I just mentioned it, sin in 1 John chapter 3, 4 says that sin is actually the transgression of the law of God. Anybody who sins transgresses the law of God, mm -hmm. right? I believe it's James 4, 17 that says, um, he who know it to do good and do it not. not, to him it is sin. So those are two definitions of sin. Mm -hmm. And the more, James is a more general um, definition, but John, 1 John 3, 4 is a direct definition, <laughs> clear definition that whenever you transgress the law or break the law of God, mm -hmm. contrary to the law of God, similarly with the, land of, the law of the land, if you break the law of the land, you can face uh, charges, yep. you, you can pay or uh, pay a fine, mm -hmm. or you find yourself in jail for many days, many months, or years, or maybe for the rest of your life. That's the consequences. However, with the law of God, it's kind of different. I'm just going to inject this quick. The law of the land says you can drink alcohol when you are 18 and above, oh. mm -hmm. right? Or 18 or over. I don't even remember if it's 18 or 18 or over. Or well, under 18, they no. won't. They won't. <laughs> That's how long I haven't bought <laughs> rum. <laughs> right? But it says 18 years. Anything below 18, the person the, of the establishment, the owner can be fine. Yeah. Above 18, you can drink as much as you want. Right? Mm -hmm. You can even end up in the hospital. The hospital will take care of you, flush <laughs> you out, and open you. You don't die. But with the law of God, the law of God tells us to not. Drink not even if you're under 18 or over, over 18, none at all. No alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. Wine is a marker, strong drink is raging, and, and whoever is deceived by it, mm -hmm. you know the rest, right? <laughs> you are not wise. In other words, yeah. you're a fool, right? And then in, in Proverbs, it tells you don't, don't, don't look at the wine, don't drink the wine when, it is, when it's red, when it moves, and that's when it's fermented mm -hmm. because wine is juice, uh, it's actually juice. And fermented wine, which is also called wine, is when it has alcohol. So yes. Proverbs tells us the wisest king that ever lived, Solomon, said, don't drink wine. Mm -hmm. Right? So we know that God said no. So there's a controversy. Uh, the controversy is that the devil is always trying. His focus is to overthrow the law of God. Mm -hmm. Because if he can do that in your life, so you disregard the law of God, then automatically you will sin and eventually begins in, becomes iniquity. Yeah, and um, I, 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 the part that you read there, Pastor, where some, some, some people might be saying to themselves that, oh, I, I don't want to choose God, but I don't choose the devil either. Mm -hmm. Failure to make a decision, you already make a decision without you knowing. By default. Yes. By default. Definitely. And by making a decision, what, what is scarier, is by making a fault decision, you make the wrong decision. Because it's not a decision for God. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and that's what people don't understand is that, you know, he, it, 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 it is clear. It is clear that here we have one that, that genuinely is doing all in his, in his power to give us this, this happy ending, to give us... Um, to make us feel as though we are a part of and, and, and to make us feel happy and, and good. And then there's the other one that is saying, telling us, hey, 
technically, when you hear the word technically, you know there's a back end to it. Technically, X, Y, and Z. And so the devil comes along and says, technically, if you serve me, this is what, um, what I can offer, right? I, there's a song that I, um, um, I saw a video one time where Jay-Z, he was having a concert, and, and in that video that the guy was showing, he said, um, he showed Jay-Z, he said that um, he, 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 he sold his soul to the devil, and it brings a happy meal. He, he was something like a happy meal or something like that. In other words, he was saying by him giving himself to the devil that it brought along some benefits, right? Now, look at what God did. God says, whether you serve me or not, I'm going to bless you. There's a difference. The devil is saying, hey, if you don't give me your soul, I, then there's nothing coming in return. And God is saying, whether you serve me or not, I'm going to send my son to die for you on the cross. A genuine love. God is giving us without even asking from us, right? And so to our viewers, as we, as we go through this, this reading for, for, for tonight, let us keep in mind and let's bear in mind that we will have to come down and make a choice. We will have to come down to the, to the, to the, to the, to the point where it's either God or Satan. There's no in-between. There's no, there's no today I serve God and then tomorrow I serve the devil. You know, it's either we're going to make a decision for God or we're going to make a decision for Satan. And we know that whatever decision we make, we will see the effects of the decision. The apostle said it's better to serve God yes. rather than man. Regardless, mm -hmm. even if it's your life yes. that will be taken <laughs> as, a, 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 as, a, um, as a result of your decision. Mm -hmm. right? But we, 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 have to, we have to understand. I have to understand. Mm -hmm. right? Every, every person has to understand yes. that wants to follow God and, and the truth. Uh, the intention, it's mentioned there in the book, the intention and the focus is to lead us to sin. Yes. And the best strategy that the enemy has ever used, and I'm, and I'm saying that he is using it even today, is the tr same truth against the people of God. Yeah. The same truth is that he's using. In the beginning, in the, sorry, in, in Eden, he contradicted what God said. Mm -hmm. Don't eat. No, God said you can eat from all these trees. Mm -hmm. That's how God began his, mm -hmm. his, his command to, to Adam. You can eat from all these trees, giving him the positive. Yes. And then he said, but from this one, one, the minority, one, mm -hmm. don't eat or else you'll die. Right? That would have been easy. <laughs> but our sinful nature always wants the one that we have been restricted from. Mm -hmm. And then... He's, when he met with Eve, he told Eve, did God say you cannot eat from all these trees? He began with a negative. Mm -hmm. You see? God began positive, then tell you what will happen with the negative. Yeah. The devil began with the negative. Mm -hmm. And Eve quickly started to say, no, 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 no. That's not it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then she started a conversation <laughs> with it. But that's how the devil works. So, And now he's saying, God said the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. No, no. He says, no. God said Sunday, the mm -hmm. first day. Mm -hmm. And he goes further to say, because he knows that some people might not be religious, so he goes as far as to say, look, any day. Yeah. Or, as long as day, Right? And as long as he can lead you to, to, to just, just feel in one, like what GM says, like what you mentioned, is that you will be in sin, remain in yes. sin. And as long as he can... Put, allow you to stay in that state. Remember, I, I believe it, it was one of the programs that we had. Satan wants to keep you in the state of sin. Mm -hmm. In the state of sin. But he, he leads you, he, he needs you to understand or to convince you that you're not in the state of sin. Mm -hmm. Right? So that when that day comes when Jesus says it is finished and we have no more mediator, we won't be able to go to heaven. Yeah. Because we had remained in that state <laughs> Too long. Yes. Cunning guy, huh? <laughs> All right. We ask that you continue to send in your prayer requests and your comment as well. We're looking forward to see here comment um see your comment in the comment section. Send in your prayer request to the number 613-9351 so we can pray for you. And tonight we want to pray for um Pastor Jedid or um the president of Central Belize Mission, that God continue to give him guidance in, in decision making as well. Amen. We also wanna um Pray for the upcoming evangelistic 
programs in the union and IAD. All right. And we want to pray for them. And we also want to um, pray for financial doors to be open for ATN, that God continue to touch the heart of, of those who are watching ATN every week. If you are watching ATN every week and you have not contributed as yet, and you might be saying, I want to contribute to ATN ministry. Um, I have a piece of land and I want to contribute that land to ATN or I have finance or whatever, whatever you, you can contribute, um, ATN will be glad to, to receive it. And we ask that you contrib contribute and be a, 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 a partner with ATN and that the word of the Lord can go forward Amen. to others Amen. as well. Amen. Remember the Lord, the Lord really doesn't need our resources because yes. our resources is his resources. Yes. But he asked us to, to, um, to visit the sick, mm -hmm. to share, to be a blessing to others, right? Mm -hmm. And so by doing that, he actually says that we're doing it to him. Yes. So uh, and we must do it with love, right? So whatever, in any way that you can help, your prayers, financial contribution, uh, whatever it may be, it will be greatly accepted and it will definitely be used to the honor and glory of God. Yes. Right? Okay. The impending conflict, El Ashin, the great conflict, the great battle. Mm -hmm. Every single day you wake up, you, you, you enter this battle again. You enter this battle. Even in your dreams, El Ashin, I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever had a dream where you were about to maybe commit a sin and then you said, no, 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 I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I've had, I have some like, I had some like that, uh, in the past. And that's when I was battling. I had, I had a dream and I was about to maybe do something or that was contrary to God. And I, and I drew back and I said, no, I can't do this in my dream. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's, that's, that's like victory, you know, because even <laughs> in your dream, you don't want to sin. But, um, every single morning you wake up, God gives you another opportunity to, um, be saved, to get your life together. Yes. Right. No matter what you did. God is not concerned with what is past, but he is concerned with the present. present. And, and he wants to, to, to transform you, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to be used in the future. Yes. So, so give your can, life to the Lord, yes? So we can pray for those, those, um, those requests, Pastor, mm -hmm. and then um, we will continue the decision and uh, discussion because this one is a nice, interesting dis uh, discussion as we have um, tonight. And so we want to lift those prayer requests in prayer um, at this moment. All right. All, right, All right, let us pray. Father, as we come before you tonight, we want to thank you, dear Lord, for uh, the opportunity to be here once more. The Lord, at this time, we want to lift up our uh, Central Breeze Mission present, Pastor Lester Gillett, that you may continue to be with him, dear Lord. Father, we ask that you may give him special anointing, dear Lord, that as he make all these, these decisions, dear Lord, that will benefit um, his... Uh, people, dear Lord, uh, those that He is leading at this time, dear God, that you, that it may be a decision, dear God, that would draw us closer to You, dear Lord. Father, I ask and pray, dear Lord, that You may help Him, dear God, that as He make all the different decisions, dear Lord, that it may bring others to Your feet, dear Lord. Dear God, we ask special prayer as well for uh, the ATN uh, ministry, dear Lord. Father, we ask that You may be with this ministry, dear Lord. Father, You have seen how. Uh, 18 has been doing a marvelous work there God reaching out to those that are in need reaching out to those that are uh, uh, those that are sick there God whatever illness they, they may be having there God father we have seen how during the pandemic there God how 18 has been the ministry that has been leading the forefront there God in in spreading your word there Lord and so tonight there God we want to lift up uh, this ministry into your hands there Lord that you may allow those who who are willing to give their God for the for your cause, their Lord, that this ministry may, may go forward, their God, that more programs may be created to, to, to display their Lord, that others may be blessed by them as well, their Father, I know that there is somebody that might be watching this program tonight who might be saying, I want to give. I want to give something towards this ministry. I want to be a part of this ministry, their Lord. I ask their God that you may touch that individual heart, their that as they give their Lord, that they too may receive the blessing that you have in store. Father, we want to thank you once again, dear God, for your many blessings. Dear Lord, we ask and pray, dear God, for the upcoming um, evangelistic series, dear Lord, in the union and, and IED that's about to take place, dear God, that you may be with 
the, the preparation team there, Lord. We ask that you may be with the person that will be doing the, the, the evangelistic series there, Lord. That you may touch his heart there, God, and as he speaks there, Lord, your word, that his word, that your word may go forth with clarity there, God, that we may be able to understand your word. And as this evangelistic series go forward there, God, that those who watch it there, God, may be drawn closer to you there, Lord, that those who watch it, that they might be somebody who heart might be touched there, Lord, and decide to want to give their life over to you fully. The Lord, we ask and pray that you may be all these plans there, God. For we pray this all in some precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elashane, for that powerful prayer. <clears throat> we continue with our discussion here this evening, the impending conflict, chapter 6 of Darkness Before Dawn, a book written by Ellen G. White um, hundreds of years ago. Yes. And it is applicable even for today. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, <clears throat> James 2, verse 10 tells us that you are guilty of all if you transgress one of mm -hmm. the Ten Commandments. Right? And the devil knows this. He knows this. Um, and he knows that <laughs> if he can lead you to just transgress one, just mm -hmm. one, that he can rest assured that you'll be lost. Yes. Right? That you'll be lost. Cunning, cunning brother. Mm -hmm. The part that says here, Pastor, it says, it says um, this war that took place in heaven has continued the same warfare upon the earth to deceive men and thus lead them to transgress God's law is the object which he has steadfastly pursued. Whether this be accomplished by casting aside the law altogether or by rejecting one of his precepts, the result will be ultimately the same. It says, he, had, he that offends in one point manifests contempt for the whole. Satan's objective is to allow us to Break God's law. I, I, I know we are, we are about to take a break, but Satan's objective is for us to break God's law and for us to disregard everything. But in truth this, he has also brought other errors that even Christians have accepted. Yes. We're, we're going to be talking more about that when we come back after our break. Why do we get sick? How can we prevent diseases? What does it really mean to be in good health? My name is Tracy Lewis and I'm the host of Defining Your Health, an 18 sponsored program to introduce health and wellness education to our families, churches, and international virtual community. Health should be a central part of our daily lives and the choice for optimal health should be in our hands. So if you have questions related to sustainable lifestyle practices, food and nutrition, physical fitness, social wellness, or perhaps a public health issue, then join us every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for engaging discussions led by diverse health experts and medical professionals. God wants you to be healthy. 18 wants you to be healthy. So continue to pray that God leads and bless this ministry. Become a faithful viewer and invite your friends and family to like and share our programs. And remember, you can always make an in-kind donation or financial contribution to further the work of this ministry. Thank you for being a part of the 18 family. And we pray, beloved, that you may prosper in all things and be in good health just as your soul prospers. All my life, I've been dealing with projects. I do a lot of research. Basically try to understand how different materials affect fires. It involves a lot of formulas and gathering data. I met this girl once in grad school and we got to talk about all kinds of things and also about God. It was great. I could share with her what I believed in. And then I got busy with my own research and realized I may have treated her like a project. Like, I kind of expected her to change herself. But people are so much more than projects. 
there's some kind of human connection to it. I think we're supposed to share our lives with those around us, but sometimes just being with them, being their friend, that's the best way to find true connection. And that's what witnessing is to me, relationships and friendships. comes in different seasons. I embrace change, and while it adds value to my life, I also need some kind of a vision, like where am I going? What is my guide? The Bible reassures me, God's word never changes. You know, the rain is gonna hit, and feelings and opinions come and go. I mean, we live in an unstable world. God talks to me through his word. It's like a fire that keeps me alive. Here, I can find rest and peace during all uncertainty. Studying the Bible gives me assurance every day. And we're back. We want to thank you guys for being patient with us and for, for waiting around for, um, for us to return. And so um, tonight we are discussing, um, um, we're actually studying the book um, Darkness Before Dawn. Um, and also we're at chapter number six, the impending um, conflict by Pastor. Can, yes, the impending com conflict. And um, we have been discussing where, where um, the devil has been trying his best to to um, overthrow, the law, overthrow the law of God, right? And there's a part that I want to read here, Pastor Miller says, Satan has perverted the doctrines of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And errors have thus become incorporated into the faith of thousands who profess to believe the scriptures. Mm -hmm. As we were on break, I, 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 we, just, we, we were talking about that, the, that Satan is so cunning that he's not like, what we say, a wild dog, just let loose and just run and go after anything. He picks certain things to attack. We know that the Sabbath is one. And the reading says he attacks the doctrine of God, the Bible. He finds a way of trying to see how he can mix truth with error. And that's what he did with, with, with Eve, right? And so he says that he... Um, He's trying to pervert the doctrine of the Bible. He says, the last great conflict between truth and error is but the final struggle of the long-standing controversy concerning the law of God. Upon this battle, we are now entering a battle between the laws of men and the precepts of the Jehovah, between the religion of the Bible and the religion of fable and tradition. There's a battle that's going on whether I'm going to keep the law of God or I'm going to keep tradition, you know? Whenever, whenever um, 
someone wants to destroy whatever, you hit the pillar. You hit the pillar, right? Mm -hmm. Because as long as the pillar breaks, weakens, yes. the rest will come down. Mm -hmm. And so the devil, who is, he is intelligent, even though we would want to refer to him as the biggest fool, mm -hmm. but he's the <laughs> most intelligent fool that exists in this world. <laughs> And he knows exactly where to hit. Yes. He knows the pillar of the church, the doctrines. Mm -hmm. People look at the word doctrine and believe, oh, that's what they believe, that's what they, and, and, no. What the Bible says in John, in, in, sorry, not John 3.16, 2 Timothy 3.16. Yes. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. God and is profitable for doctrine. That means mm -hmm. profitable for what you believe. Yes. The Bible is there. Everything, Old Testament and New Testament, is profitable to let you know what you should believe. Not what the preacher says, not what the sister says, not mm -hmm. what your grandmother says, not what people tell you, not what that group says. The Bible says Old Testament, New Testament. Those are the two witnesses. Mm -hmm. Once, as long as the Bible says it, mm -hmm. you should believe it. Yes. And he knows the pillars. He knows where the strength is, you know, the state of the dead. He has corrupted that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the living know they will die in Ecclesiastes, but the dead yeah. know nothing. The dead knows, does not know not. They are mm -hmm. un unconscious. Mm -hmm. But he says they are immortal. Mm -hmm. He says they go to heaven. He says they wander. He says this and that. He gives, he gives the dead immortality. Mm -hmm. He also speaks about creation. He corrupts that. He caused Charles Darwin to bring a, he, to bring um, strife and, and, and conflict with, even within the Christian people. Mm -hmm. And so we have some people believing that <laughs> six literal days, some say it's, it's millions of years and, and a whole lot of thing that is not uh, what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So what you mentioned is true. And the Sabbath day is not only um, a command from the law of God, but mm -hmm. it is the center of the law of God. The Sabbath day, for the viewers who may not have known, the Sabbath day, he did not... Look at this, the viewers and ourselves here. The Lucifer or the devil, Satan, enemy of God, why is it that he did not target, do not steal? Yeah. Why didn't he pull that out? Mm -hmm. Why didn't he pull out, do not murder, do not mm -hmm. kill? Why didn't he pull out, do not commit adultery, and so forth and so forth? Why didn't he pull the other nine? Mm -hmm. Why did it have to be the Sabbath day? Why? Because he knows that the Sabbath day is the, is the if you read the entire um, verse 9, 10, and 11, 8, 9, 10, and 11, it will tell you who, you, who is your creator. Mm -hmm. It will tell you his territory. Yeah. It will tell you his domain. It will tell you everything you need to know, mm -hmm. right, concerning the seal of God. And that's the reason why he targeted that, because by you keeping the fourth commandment, mm -hmm. right, along with the rest, you are telling the entire world yeah. who the true and living God is. And that's the reason why the last time we were here, we mentioned the Sunday was changed because mm -hmm. the devil is targeting not only us to sin, but he also wants to be like God. So he also wants a day when you can worship him. Yes. And that's the, the first day of the week, the Sunday, which is the Sunday mm -hmm. from a pagan religion, right? Mm -hmm. Pagan, um, pagan, um, doctrines, <laughs> right? Pagan belief. The Sunday, which is mm -hmm. Sunday today, yes. right? Cunning, cunning brother. It says that um, under the part of that lack of divine authority, it says the agencies which will unite against truth and righteousness in this contest are now actively at work. Mm -hmm. Actively at work. God is sending out his spirit to, 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 to go out and to, to unite. It says that God's holy word, which has been handed down to us 
at such a cause of suffering and blood is but little valued. We see that there, I have in my house, Pastor, I have, I have three Bible, three different Bible um, that I have. And there are times I get, I feel a little bit bad not reading this one and reading that one. All three Bibles are, are, are just so nice. I, when I, whenever I picked up one Bible, man, I just feel the Bible, they have a lot of information. It's like one of them is a study Bible. Another one is a, is a I received one from Mr. Acosta, which is an Andrew's study Bible as well. And then I have another one. But these three Bibles are so really nice. And I make use of those Bibles. But I feel bad when you go, I go to somebody's house and see the Bible on the shelf and the Bible look really dusty. Like, man, the Bible has not been used. And that's what the reading says, that this holy word of God that has been placed there, us as human beings, at times myself, we place little value on God's word. We, we, we prefer pick up a storybook. We prefer pick up novels and we read the novels or we prefer um, watch movie from sit down and watch movie for so many hours and we spend little time in God's word. Man, by the time you pick up the Bible in a, within five minutes or so, your eye they drop, your eye they, they dip. But when you watch one movie, watch a movie for like three, four hours. All day. All day. Right? The value that we place on God's word is little value. Not realize that this is what is going to keep us fed. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to get the strength from. That's right. You know? And the more we spend with God's word, the less time we'll find ourselves doing things that, that you know, things that we, we, we didn't have power over, we will receive power over those stuff. And so the reading is telling us that spending time is God, in God's word is valuable at, for us to contend with the enemy. That's what Jesus did when he was um, tempted by Satan. He, he used the scripture. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to do, if we're going to follow in the, uh, uh, and use the method of Jesus, following the scripture and applying the scripture is very important for us. Or else we'll find ourselves that's shake how, up and beat up by the enemy. That's you know? how we win this, this great battle. This yes. Apart from praying. Mm -hmm. Because in order to read and understand the Bible, you must pray. So praise is yes. a must. But this is how we win the battle. By telling the enemy. Mm -hmm. Not by entering into a conversation with him, but by <laughs> telling him, the Bible says. The Bible says. Not me. Mm -hmm. What Eve told the enemy was what she yes. <laughs> said. That's why she added something else, mm -hmm. right? But if you say what God said, that's all you need to say. You don't need to defend God. God defends himself. Mm -hmm. The Bible defends himself, yes. right? I want to read this right here. It says, no error, no error accepted by the Christian world strikes more boldly against the authority of heaven None is more directly opposed to the dictates of reason. None is more pernicious in its results than the modern doctrine so rapidly gaining ground that God's law is no longer binding upon men. Mm -hmm. Listen and listen to this other statement. Every nation has its laws which command respect and obedience. <laughs> Every nation has Every person that is viewing, if you're not from Belize, your country, your nation mm -hmm. has its laws which command respect and yes. obedience. No government could exist without them. Yes. None. And can it be conceived that the creator of the heavens and the earth has no law to govern the beings he has made? How can we say that the laws of God, the Ten Commandments, no other laws, no ceremonial laws, those have been abolished. The laws of God, the ones that are His moral laws, the ones mm -hmm. that show us His splitting image, His character, love. How can we say that the law of God has been done away with? We no longer have to keep the laws of God. The laws of God that tells us to be honest, don't steal. Mm -hmm. Don't covet, don't envy, don't... don't, don't um, don't murder. Don't have any idols. This is the law that you are telling us yes. we don't need to keep. 
right? How can you tell us not to keep this law when your own government keeps these laws in order to have order in the, in the, in the country to, to get respect and obedience from the civilians or those, the, 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 those who live there? Mm -hmm. The mere fact that there was war in heaven should give us a hint yes. or a clue that laws are also needed in heaven. God is not, this is what Corinthians say, God is not the God of confusion. So we could, we could safely say he is the God of order. Mm -hmm. He's not the God of confusion. <laughs> and confusion, in order for a place or anything to not have confusion, there must be laws. Yes. Must be lies. Yes, so so true. There's a part that I, I that I want to read here, Pastor. Right? Or maybe we should we should pray and then we can I can, I can read this. All right, let's right? pray. <laughs> All right. So we want to pray um um for the evangelistic series um that Pastor Emil is having um that is going on currently that is going on right now. We ask that you continue to um for those of you I believe Pastor um have it streaming and also for those of you that are in the in the area. You can stop by the Farmer's Road. Um, yeah, right by the open lot across from the police substation on Farmer's Road. And the evangelistic series is entitled, um, God Said It, I Believe It. Yes. All right? That should settle it, right? Yes. God Said It, I Believe <laughs> so It. So if you're in the area, you can stop by there and you can, right. you can, you can hear a word. Amen. Right? We also want to pray for the gang rivalry to cease, you know, peace and unity. Uh, not only that, but we want gang to... Uh, not exist anymore. We want them to, to get together to brotherhood, be, a blessing, brotherhood. be a blessing in, the, mm -hmm. in this country, right? Mm -hmm. All right? So we want to pray for the ASI Youth ser seri Series yes. also. Yes, that is coming up. And we also want to pray for um, the desire for, for God's Word, that those of us that we continue to have a desire for God's Word, I have, I have made a, 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 a serious commitment, Pastor, that um, I want to spend more time in studying God's word. I want to spend more time in, you know, try to limit my, my idle time, my dumb time, and, and just spend more time in studying God's word. And I, I have seen, I started it, and it has been tremendous, a blessing to me. I have been reading stuff that I have read a long time ago, I have read, and I'm actually getting an understanding, you know, like it's, it's, it feels as though it's a fresher, mm -hmm. even though I've read it before. And so I want to encourage our viewers, I want to encourage myself, Pastor Emil and, and, and all of us, that for us to continue to have a desire to study God's Word. Because even though Pastor Emil might be a pastor, we know that he gets busy, you know. He's, he gets busy tackling all his churches and being there for his members. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes he gets so occupied and, and have consuming. to deal with his family and, and so forth, right. So also we want to keep him in prayer as well, all right. So we want to pray for all those prayer requests. Um, this evening. Two prayers in. All right. All right, let us pray. Father, as we come before you once more, dear God, I want to ask special prayer at this time, dear Lord, for the evangelistic series that Pastor Emil is currently having. We ask, dear Lord, you may continue to bless it, dear Lord. Father, we ask special prayer for those who come uh, to this revival series, this evangelistic series, dear Lord, that they may be blessed. Dear God, there might be somebody who might be coming every night, dear God, but have not made up his or her mind. I ask, dear Lord, that before this evangelistic series is finished, dear Lord, that he or she may come to the realization that they have a need for you and that they may give their life fully to you, dear Lord. I ask my short prayer as well, dear God, for Pastor Miller as he do this evangelistic series, dear Lord, that you may give him the strength and that you may give him protection as well, dear Lord, from the enemy. Dear God, we know that when your word go forward, dear Lord, that the enemy tends to show up, dear God, but we ask that you may surround that place with your angels, dear Lord, uh, night after night, dear God. Father, we ask special prayer as well for uh, the ASI youth as they are about to have a series as well, dear Lord, that you may be with them, that you may continue to use our young people, dear Lord, in such a way, dear God, that they could bring other young people to get to know and to love you as well, dear Lord. Dear God, I ask special prayer for uh, the, the different rivalry between different gangs, dear God. Dear Lord, you have seen that it's not just between gangs, dear Lord, but that there are innocent people who are also caught up, dear Lord, in this rivalry, dear Lord. Father, we ask, dear Lord, that you may allow these gentlemen, dear Lord, to 
to, to see what they're doing there. Lord, Father, we know that it's only the enemy that's using them there, God. And so I ask the Lord that you may intervene at this time there, God, that they may be able to see the, the damage and the hurt there, Lord, that they're causing at this time. Father, we ask special prayer, the Lord, for, for us, the Lord, to have a desire, the Lord, to want to study your word and to want to know more about you, the Lord, to spend more time, the God, feasting upon your word, the Lord. I ask, the God, that you may help us, the Lord, to spend time, to, to, to avoid, the Lord, spending time in, 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 in doing things that does not have any value, the Lord. I ask and pray, the Lord, that you may be with us as we go through tonight. For we pray this all in the precious name. Amen. Dear God in heaven, we want to ask you, Father, for the power to be able to overcome our temptations and our sin. We pray, Father, for all those who have sent their prayer requests that you may grant them the desire of their hearts and that they may delight in the things of the Lord. We pray, Father, that you may continue to seek to save them. We know that healing is, is what many of us want, Father, especially when we're sick. But help us to understand that the healing of the soul is more important and so we pray that all those who are not feeling well, those who are ill, that they may seek you, Father, and know that you have the power to heal, but that you want, most of all, to, to save them, so you want to heal them. You give them the healing of the soul. Forgive them of their sins and prepare them, Father, to do a great work for you here on earth. We pray, Father, for the gangs, the, all those gentlemen and even women who are in, in these, these groups, so help them to understand, Father, that life, eh, we only get one chance at life. And we one day will have to give account of everything that we've done. And so we ask that they may allow you, Heavenly Father, that they may allow your spirit to enter their lives so that they may make better decisions. That they may be able to lead others into a saving relationship with you. And help them to have that encounter, Father, with Christ, with Jesus, your Son. And so be able to be transformed into great men and women in this society. We pray, Father, that you may be with the, the young people. You may be with those who uh, may be struggling, Father, at this moment to make that decision to serve you. Yes. Because of the peer pressure or the influence around them. But help them to rise above that and be able to see clearly, Father, their destination, eternity. Yes, we ask for your forgiveness for our sins also, that you may continue using us and preparing us, dear God, for the programs and for the churches that you have us in. We pray that we may be a true example of Christ, uh, especially when he was here on earth. We pray that we may um, be able to manifest his spirit and his character. We pray, Lord, that we may all understand that the devil is trying to lead us to sin. Sin is what will keep us out of heaven yes, Lord. and keep us from gaining eternity. And we are, in a sense, allowing him to get away with it by trampling on the laws of God, believing his lies and living a, a, a life, believing that we are saved when we're not. So please help us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to read a statement here, um, Elashin, mm -hmm. as I continue from where I, I, I stop, when you see is that the, the law of God is, is what the devil is focusing on, and he knows that this, the, this is a pillar, right? One of the pillars of God, of the, 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 um, the remnant church or the, the, the people of God. And uh, also, uh, we also give an example that every nation, every country has its laws, Mm -hmm. so that they can receive respect and obedience, right? And um, so that they may be able to have order. So this is why it says now, suppose, suppose that prominent ministers were publicly to teach that the statutes, statutes which govern their land and protect the rights of its citizens were not obligatory. Imagine the ministers, the pastors, right? Or the politicians. Because they are ministers too, yes. in a sense. Imagine that they all begin to preach and to say, you don't have to, you don't have to um, um, keep any of the laws of the country because they have been done away with. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about that. All you need to do is just do whatever makes you happy. Imagine a, a world like that. We have mm -hmm. some people that are happy when they kill people. <laughs> 
Pine they are girl. happy when they rape young young boys. They are happy when they rape young girls. They are happy when they when they um when they when they they what you say they they are being abused. Some people can mm -hmm. some people feel like they are loved when they are being abused. There's a lot of horrific things out there that people feel um go out and 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 and, and um they they participate in mm -hmm. and they believe that that's that brings them joy yeah drugs some people can't live without drugs they they want it because they're addicted now mm -hmm. and they believe that that's the, the only way they can feel happy mm -hmm. that's exactly what the enemy wants us to do mm -hmm. Uh, to go and destroy ourselves, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter if it if it's if it will affect you in the longer run. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if, if you will get overdosed. Doesn't matter if your home <laughs> will be broken up. You go with that woman, you go even if it's not your wife, you go with that man, even if he's not your husband. As long as it makes you happy, that is what counts because you have one life. Mm -hmm. Live it to the fullest. That's his intention. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we lose not only our earthly life, shorten our life suffer unnecessary pain and then we lose eternity yes and i love the fact as we as we um, wrap up i i love the fact that god wants to, to protect god is trying to protect us from this impending this impending conflict that's about to come and oftentimes we find ourselves um you know while he's he's giving us guidance and while he's putting things in place to protect us from this impending conflict it's like we keep running towards it. You know, we keep saying, Lord, I, I, I know what you're trying to do, but I want to experience it for myself. And being this loving God that he is, um, he keeps doing all in his power to, to, to stop us from, from, mm -hmm. from going that path. And so to our viewers, um, I want to say that God, God is, we serve a God that is so loving that even though we don't deserve it, it reminds me of, of Hosea and Boomer. Mm -hmm. And she keeps going back and she keeps going and, 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 and you know, he keeps receiving yeah, her. And he keeps going for her. And instead of condemning her, he keeps covering her. That's what God does for us. Even when we, you know, just leave him, go astray. He's saying, come back to me. I will always be willing to receive you. But there is a time where a cut off time, right. but let us not wait until a cut off time, but let us try our best to, to make it right with that. And rightly said, um, Elashin, salvation. Is now. Yes. We only get 24 hours to be saved. Yes. And some of us sleep more hours than <laughs> we, we enjoy throughout the day, right? <laughs> so we wake up, we already slept a few hours. Mm -hmm. So salvation is today. Yes. Today, as we speak, every time you are able to log into this program or any mm -hmm. program or anything that has to do with God, the Word of God, to lead you on the right path. That's your opportunity to accept Christ and, and his saving grace. One day, you will not be able to view us. Yes. One day, we will not be able to be on this, mm -hmm. on this program. Because like Ella Shane rightly said, we only have a short time. Mm -hmm. The devil has a short time. We have a shorter yes. time. Right? We don't even make it to 100 nowadays. Yeah. Right? So... Salvation is today. We got to choose Christ now. Choose him. Choose his Bible, his truth. Yes. Don't accept anything that they, they just fling on you if it sounds good. No, no, no. Truth is not about sounding good. Eh? Truth is about what is right, what yes. is truth. That is what is important. That will get you to heaven. That will get you to be the person that God needs you to be exactly. on this earth. Amen. So Amen. I pray that this may have been a blessing. We pray that you guys may be able to join us next week, Thursday, again. So we're going to be praying just before we, we wrap up. We say goodbye. Okay. Yes. Let us pray. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to be with the viewers, to be with us. We pray that your holy angels may encamp around them, Father. You may cover them with the blood of Jesus. We pray that you may give them sufficient knowledge to be able to make the right decision to serve you. And we pray that as they accept you, we may transform them, equip them, Give them the skills that they need in order for them to make it, Father, to gain victory over the enemy and sin, that they may be able to put the enemy to shame and reveal the truth, Lord Father, reveal the error that the enemy has, has, um, has, it has been trying for generations uh, to, to, to place in the people's minds. We pray, Father, that we may always walk in your footsteps, that the light that you shine upon us may shine, that we may shine upon others so that they 
may be taken out from the darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for joining us. We really appreciate you viewing us and sharing this program. We will be here again next week, Thursday, same time, same place. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. God bless. Why do we get sick? How can we prevent this? As a non-profit organization, the Adventist Television Network solely relies on your financial support. By partnering with us through a monthly donation, you will help us to continue to fulfill the mission in taking the gospel into all the world. For more information, please call 613-9351 or email us at atnfin at cbm.beliesunion.org. Thank you for your prayers and support of the ATN ministry and together we may hasten the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.